What's up? This is Kong from xfaders.com and I'm back with another video. Um, in this one, we'll be working on a series called xfaders OCS. And in these videos, we'll discuss how to organize, clean up, and store your music collection. Now, by no means is this a definitive walkthrough on how to organize your collection, rather just suggestions to help you out along the way. Feel free to engage in the comment section and offer your feedback and suggestions on how you organize your music. So with that bit of information out of the way, let's get started. The first step will be to organize. I will not bore you with the details, but it's important to gather all your music and organize it in one centralized folder or partition to include subfolders only containing music or videos. So no random Word documents, PDFs, or installation files. Albums have their own folders and random tracks that don't make the cut are stored based on genre and year. When discussing your DVS or gig collection, it should be stored on a separate partition not to interfere with your overall collection because some songs are not going to get played at any event and take up unnecessary space on my performing computer. To ease your mind a little on the process, I have a solution for those special song requests that are uncommon, but you'll still have access to your full collection when you're out gigging. Now, all these concepts I just mentioned are gonna be very important when we discuss storage and backup portion of the series. But in this video, I just wanna focus on your ID tags for all of your music and hopefully help you develop a scheme or a naming convention. Okay, on screen at the moment is Tractor Pro as well as Serato DJ Pro. And in the center is the library section. Um, this is where you would edit the tags for each one of your, your songs. So for a tractor, it's as simple as choosing either one song or if you choose a couple songs and right click and choose edit, you can go in and make changes like, like this. Um, so I just removed the S from 1990s. And once you click apply, um, as you can see here under the genre, it's been removed. Uh, the same process goes for uh, Serato DJ where you just select a few songs and click in the section here and you can remove the S here and it makes the changes to all of those songs. Um, but this concept should be the same or, or relatively the same for Virtual DJ as well as uh, Pioneer Record Box. But the idea is that you would like to edit more songs and, and easily jump between folders. So that's why using a dedicated uh, tag application makes it a lot easier to do. The application that I've used for the uh, last couple of years is Tag Scanner. Um, I like this software because it is free for one. Um, it's, it's pretty much straightforward and it does everything I needed to do and more. Um, so I'll let you decide for yourself, but essentially uh, if you do like the software as well, definitely consider providing donations to the developer. Um, and also too, one of the perks is you can download a portable version of the application so you don't actually have to install it to your PC. You can just double click the, the executable and it will run, um, which is a, a great option. Okay, what we have on screen at the moment is the user interface for the tag scanner software. Um, the first thing that you start off with is basically um, all your tracks and stuff listed in the center section. Essentially, you would just browse to the folder of where your music's located. Um, now for this intro or for this first video, we're just gonna focus on the, the high level overview of the software. In the next video, we'll go more into details on advanced options, but right now I just wanna get you acclimated to the software. So let's start off with the rename section. So first thing you would do is of course hit browse and point to where your music is located. I have sort of like a sandbox here of a few songs, uh, whether they come from rips or record pools or just random downloads. So I chose the top level folder and called it recently added songs. Now within there, you would click this box here to include all the subfolders. If you don't, it will only do the, the first folder that you selected. And of course, like you see here, there's nothing there. Um, but once you do click this option here and just click refresh, you'll be able to see all the songs in the folder. And at the top here, you can see the, the folder titles here. Okay, now the next part is, um, this section here is, is you definitely have to pay a lot more attention to. This section here will actually change the file name. 
Um, I would suggest not doing this unless you're prepared to change over the information in your software like uh, Serato or, or Tractor because this will definitely um, kill the link between the song and your application and in your crates. So uh, the best thing to do is to sort of save this section for last, but this will clean up the file names themselves. So if you had a lot of random characters or you need to change the case or or just anything that you want to clean up and be consistent with the file names you can do. Also, you have the option to preview those changes once you've made them so you don't have to commit to them immediately. Okay. So the next section would be edit. And this is where you will spend majority of your time. Um, it looks the same, the, the, the overall view looks the same, but if you notice over here to the right, it lets you uh, fill in the track, title, artist, album, a lot more information all the way down to the, the photo art as well as lyrics. Um, it's also helpful that you're able to click on the song and you can play it and listen to it. Um, some of the other features you'll be able to utilize with this is the find duplicates, but once again, we'll discuss that more in the advanced video. Um, next section is online. So this is great when you need to find out the, um, the track listing or you want to add the track listing to the files that you have. So if you ripped a, a CD recently or, or album, you'll be able to go in this section here and um, look up the album and apply those track listings to it. The generate section is pretty cool too. So this works if you have a, a file that's named correctly, the file name is correct. You can actually take that information and apply it to the artist and title, but we'll go in more details about that later. Um, and last but not least is the export section. Um, this will just help you to create playlists or if you just want to pass over the list of tracks that you have to someone else. Um, this is a section that you will do it in. So you can do CSV, HTML, um, text file, XML. So this is just great if you want to uh, show uh, someone else or fellow DJ or friend the music that you have in your collection. So I definitely wanted to keep this video uh, relatively short, but we will go in depth in the next advanced uh, tutorial section for the tag scanner. We'll discuss the transformation. We'll get into uh, the details for finding duplicates and how to generate as well as do the online track list. I hope this video was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on the website at www.xfaders.com.